Be sure to go to FlipsideGaming.com and use promo code 6 for 10% off on orders over $10. They're the same at the Grizzly Gentleman. They're both fantastic deals and help support the show. What's up, Planeswalkers? They're six back with some more Magic the Gathering, and today we're playing uh, Gideon Tribal. Uh, technically, we're playing Gideon Control. Um, the reason we're playing this is because I, I tried to make, um, oops, all gear hulks. Needs a little bit more work. So, instead we're going to play a, a deck that seems like it may be interesting. Typically, when you see uh, these two cards together, uh, Gideon the Trials and Pactum Negation, it's in a, uh, a blue-white control deck. Uh, that happens to run these cards. Because a blue-white control deck can pay for this card. We can't. So, uh, I'll show you the combination. Getting the Trial has a zero ability emblem. As long as you control a Gideon Planeswalker, you can't lose the game and your opponents can't win the game. So, if you have this emblem and at least one Gideon, then you can Pact of Negation something on your upkeep. You might lose the game, but you can't lose the game. Okay. So that's why we have Pact of Negation here. Uh, the fact that there are several decks that are kind of just um, cast one key thing and then, you know, they win, essentially, uh, means that Pact of Negation should be relatively decent here. Should you be playing this over uh, Blue-White Control that happens to run these two pieces? No. This is a meme. <laughs> but still, it's very fun. Two Authority of the Consoles. Uh, this card is very helpful because of the fact that it makes our uh, opponent's creatures come in tapped which means that they're less likely to just, uh, for, for things with haste, it's less likely to just kill our Gideons out of nowhere. We'll be able to have some time to set it up, and we get to gain some life, which is helpful. We have three Gideons Triumph. The reason I'm running this essentially is just because of the fact that it's a Gideon card. You know, we're, we're, we're making a George deck, or Chad, as some people call Gideon. Uh, I prefer to call him George. Um, yeah, so, you know, target opponent sacrifices a creature that attacked or blocked this turn. If you control a Gideon Planeswalker, they sacrifice two of those creatures instead. Uh, what's really nice about this is when it says attacked or blocked, that just means that they have been declared as attackers or declared as blockers. They don't actually have to deal any damage, so that if your opponent attacks you uh, with two two creatures that are relatively large, uh, you can just be like, nah, before you even get dealt damage. If you attack with uh, your two Gideons uh, and your opponent decides to block things, even though these have indestructible, you still might want to be like, I don't want to deal with these next turn, so I'm going to kill them. So, very cool card. Before we revitalize, essentially this card just cycles. That, that's essentially all this card does. You gain three life, you draw a card. Helpful. For Birth of Melitus, it, it's very similar to Rev Revitalize. You essentially cycle it. You get, to, you get to have a nice blocker. You get to gain some life. To Heart of Kirin, uh, I figured I needed another way of winning the game. And Heart of Kirin seems relatively decent when you consider the idea that, like, you can minus with Gideon Blackblade. Uh, then... But minus with Gideon Blackblade uh, to make Heart of Kirin a uh, creature, and then you can plus your Gideon Blackblade to give this like a uh, lifelinker instructable, and then you can get you get to attack with uh, two four fours, right? And sometimes that they'll be instructable as well. So that that's quite interesting. It also means that uh, we can use this to block, uh, even if it's a chump block, uh, for one of our Gideons, uh, just so that uh, instead of Gideon dying, it only loses one loyalty. Um, yeah. So Gideon Blackblade. Every, every turn we get to have a 4-4 creature that's indestructible. It's fantastic. Um, plus one, another uh, target creature you control gains Vigilance Left Thinker Indestructible. All of those are very helpful. Um, putting them onto uh, Heart of Kirin or our other Gideon. Um, and then the minus six Exile Target non non permanent is quite helpful. For Gideon of Trial... Uh, for, for Gideon of the Trials. Uh, <laughs> another three, three mana uh, walker that we already talked about the emblem. It's really cool. The zero ability here is to essentially have the static ability of this one, uh, but then you have a plus ability where you can prevent the damage that a target permanent would deal. It's very nice that this is target permanent, so it does mean that uh, if your opponent is playing some sort of uh, strange combination deck that, um, actually, is that, is that how that card works? Uh, Aether, I don't remember what the hell this card is called. Uh, Aether Flux Reservoir. Yeah, okay. So, for example, right, you can uh, plus this on Aether, Hook, uh, Aether Flex Reservoir. The issue is that um, this is until your next turn, so you'll need to uh, have some other way of, uh, <laughs> of dealing with this. And if your opponent is a good player, uh, they will make sure to try and kill you before you uh, draw to potentially, like, gain... Look, there's there's no way. Look, it just, it's a thing that could happen. Shut up. Two, uh, three Shadow of the Sky, three Wrath of God. Wrath of God's great. Our creatures here... Can't be destroyed. They're indestructible while they're planeswalkers. That's that's fantastic. This just gets to yeet things. Three Shadow of the Skies, though, is because on our turn, when we can make them indestructible creatures, they're four power creatures. This doesn't need to have those four power creatures die in order to draw a card. So we can potentially draw cards out of this, which is really cool. 
Helm of the Host is a meme. Uh, that, I mean, that's that's pretty much it. Uh, the idea of getting extra Gideons or even extra Heart of Kirans, it's funny. So I'm playing this card. Should I play it? No, probably not. It's a meme. I don't care. Three, else with Conqueror's Death is just a very helpful uh, card that can get rid of something, make our opponent's things cost more, and then, of course, being able to get back some Gideons. This is our mana base. We have Castle Arden Veils because, uh, obviously, we need some extra mana sink. Blast Zones to destroy pretty much anything. And once again, what's nice is that while, while Gideons are uh, Planeswalkers, like while they're just Planeswalkers, they can be destroyed, but on our turn... We can, if we turn this into a creature as well, we can go ahead and activate a Blast Zone for three without the fear of losing our Gideon, which is fantastic because this is all we have on three, so that's quite nice. Two cards, Bastion, you know, help help these things out. And then two Radiant Fountain just for more life. We are going to be playing best of three. We have an additional Pact of Negation for uh, specifically combo decks. We have one Grafter's Cage to rest in peace against the annoying Graveyard decks. Grafter's Cage also helps against Gabos. Two Hushbringers, uh, this is against... I don't know. I don't know exactly, but Hushbringer seems decent. Three Sun Cleanser against essentially any energy deck, two sources of spyglass against uh, combination decks as well as planeswalker decks, two time reinforcements against the aggro decks, and two Gideon's intervention once again against kind of the combination decks. Um, and let's pop in to a game mode with a deck that I've not actually used. <laughs> I'm not lying, I've not, I've not used this deck. Mm. Delicious. Sure shot. Sure shot. Am I insane? I swear. Uh, this is potentially a very bad keep if our opponent is an aggro deck, but screw it. Sure shot. Is this some? Is this someone? I've I think there's someone who watches the ch That name is so familiar. Like, I feel like I've seen that in comments before. Uh, Alright, so we'll play Authority of the Consoles. This is Jeskai. Possibly Jeskai Control. Chaos Control. Searcher's Kanta, sure. I mean, our Authority of the Consoles is essentially garbage here, but that's fine. We do get a Gideon out. We get a Gideon out. And I think what I'm going to do is just play this Gideon and immediately zero it. Oh. Virtue will always triumph. So as long as I have Gideons, I'll be up. okay. I may just revitalize next turn. I guess I could just Gideon Blackblade. I'm not sure. Four mana. Was I saying something? All right. I hope I hope the ads are uh, like better now. Leave my getting of the trials alone. Hmm, they did. Interesting. So would like. Attack. The thing is, do I play Stand this Gideon? Down. Yeah, I think I will. It's possible I should have done that in different orders. God's I'm gonna give this. Right I'm actually gonna give this vigilance. I will lend you my strength. I don't think the life is gonna matter, but potentially getting around um, seal away, I do think is worth. Giving it vigilance here. Shark Typhoon. Yeah, that's fine. It is annoying because it does mean Gideon of the Trials is going to get hurt. You can go for Blackblade? Interesting. Okay. That was nothing. Alright there. I knew they were red. <laughs> Cast out. Um. I think that's fine because I assume they're going to target my Gideon of the Trials. Yeah. If I thought they were going to target Gideon Blackblade, I wouldn't have I wouldn't have made that play. Because here I can do this. Plus on that. You 
will only try getting through me. Submit zero. I believe in you, friend. Okay. So yeah, Sharky Boy. Can't do much. I have a pack of negation just in cases. And it's as long as I control a Gideon. Does not matter. There with cool. Me. Um, I'm gonna cast Revitalize here. Another Revitalize is very interesting. Um, but I think I just plus on plus on this plus with now this. Your light will cleave the darkness. They do block. Interesting. That's fine. I'm going to play a Heart of Kirin here. Because they could have another Shark Typhoon, and they could theoretically have one that's big enough to... I guess I guess they wouldn't, actually. They only have a 4-4, four four and I have two 5-power walkers. Sinks is Revelation. That's fine. It's not great for me, but I think it's fine. I did consider running uh, Field of the... No. Field of Ruin. But I ended up not going with that. And I don't know if that's necessarily the correct thing. Two, four, six, seven mana from our opponent. Six cards, seven mana. I might cast Helm of the Host. This, this coming up turn. Okay, <laughs> I looked at I looked at my um. Huh. That's worth packing, right? They almost certainly have a Dovin's veto. Is that worth packing? Oops. I assume they just like bounce one of my Chads or my Georges, and try to counter my George. But I think I'm just gonna I think I'm gonna pack this. I don't I don't know if it's correct. I really don't. I assume we're getting Dovin's vetoed here. We don't. Okay, that's good then. Doesn't mean we're, we're we no longer have pack protection. Not if I can help it. <laughs> Not if I can help it. Okay, so here we do have Heart of Kiran. So I'm going to Zero this. I've got you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I think I'm gonna activate this from this Gideon. That's new. That's new. Wow. Um, I'm still gonna give this guy vigilance. The, again, the life just really doesn't matter in this matchup. Prepare for battle. Prepare for battle. Yes, battle. <laughs> A braid on that. Um. Yeah. Unfortunate, but it's fine. I guess I didn't really consider that. Although they would have just done that in response to the target, I think. Uh, do I want to just cast Helm of the Host here? Do I want to revitalize? Potentially get another one of my packs. I'm going to cast Helm. Alright, so they can flip their search here. Which is not great. Do not get me wrong. Like, this is this is not, not what I like to see in a control mirror. Because we are playing weird control. We're not playing normal person control. We're playing chaos control. Full of surprises. But there's a weird feeling. That they might kill my Gideon. There's a weird feeling that my Gideon is dead. Count on a rematch. Awkward. Oh, baby, that's exactly what I wanted.
interesting. Well, I hate that. But my opponent is down to one card. And they're at three. So, hopefully, they don't have removal for Gideon. That can't kill Gideon. That's... That's fine. So, first things first. I'm gonna exile this. I don't care about Chandra here. Then... I'm gonna do this. Then... I'm gonna do this. Hell... Yes. I am here to aid in the assault. We just beat a real Jeskai guy control deck using only Gideons. Hell yeah! <laughs> All right. So for this match, oop, we definitely want the other pact. Fudge. Uh, Sorcerer Spyglass. Hey. <laughs> I don't. I don't love it. Activated ability of sources with just is cycling an activated ability. I think it is, but uh, sources of sources. I mean, I think I want Sorcerer Spyglass regardless. I don't think Authority of the Consoles is nearly important. Uh, or remotely, I should say. Uh, Sun Cleanser. Oh, it comes from Target Creature. No, Sun Cleanser doesn't work. Uh, I could choose Gideon's Intervention. You're dealt to you and permanently controlled by Source of the Chosen Name. Uh, potentially. I definitely don't need all of these. I think I'll keep Shatter the Sky. Or, hmm. Talk about probably what sacrifice occurs that attack or block this turn. Um, hmm. Hmm. Yeah, you know, I, I really don't know. I don't know. A pretty decent start in this matchup would be a, a, a turn two Heart of Kirin into turn three Gideon, uh, just so we can uh, put pressure on early. Um, I mean, this the thing is, this is still, like, a pretty great hand. We don't love this. Um... This is helpful. So, you know, we got to turn two. We got to turn three. Uh, we got, you know, turn four something. Whatever. Um, gonna play this. They might counter this, but I don't think they should. Be a very dumb counter. They are thinking about it, though. Yeah, I, I feel like they have a Dovin's Veto in their hand. As you can see, uh, my deck is kind of... That's an aggressive burn spell. That tells me either that they've switched to an aggressive Jeskai, or that they really needed to make their hand better. That, I mean, that feels like that feels like a very aggressive burn spell. Um, do I just slam the Gideon? Uh, I think I do. You know, I just force them to use their counter spells. There's not really much we can do. Yeah, I mean, we we, we saw it coming, uh, but there's there's not really much we can do about it. Uh, they're going to be able to use their counter spells at some point, right? So. They field ruin does not matter all that much to me. Gideon's intervention here. Um, I think I'm fine just casting this and seeing if they care about it. I probably just name a uh, five minute to fairy. Obviously, they can flash in a cast out to get rid of my Gideon's intervention, but meh. Um, let's see if they okay. They didn't tap out for anything. I'll go ahead and play this into this. So they might counter this Gideon as well. Yep, they counter this Gideon as well. That's fine. They can revitalize at instant speed. If they play uh, Sharon here, they can't. No, they can't play Sharon here, but they don't. Uh, then I could have uh, Conqueror's Death it. And that is kind of what we're looking for at this point, is just, you know, another another card. Okay, I just wanted to make sure that wasn't hitting Blast Zone. Ugh. 
right. I do need... So I think, I think because the deck is so focused in the, in the... Ooh, this is Shark Tech Moth? No, Sphinx's Revelation. That is arguably worse. Um, what was I saying? All right, if, if the main deck is so focused on beating aggro, I probably shouldn't even have things like time reinforcements in the in the sideboard. Uh, blast zone. Yeah, I'll blast zone. I wish I could down blast zone. Wouldn't that be sweet? If you could put blast zone down to zero to hit tokens. <laughs> this is not this is not great. I'm not gonna lie. This is very much not awesome. Cast out to target the Gideon's Intervention. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, so this is the reason this is unfortunate is because it means that they can play a Teferi Hero of Dominaria and hold up counter magic. And that's almost certainly, yep, almost certainly what they're doing. Um, I guess I could just up my Blast Zone to five. I'm known for my excellent timing. Let's skip to the good part. Six. Yeah, I could just up my Blast Zone to five. They might blow up my blast zone. Did it blow up my blast zone? I don't. I wouldn't have enough to do both. I kind of think I have to just use blast zone here. All right, five. Because blast zone costs three. Yeah. So I'm one mana away from being able to Elspeth Conquer's death and Blast Zone. Two, four, six. They have two? Damn. Yeah. Fortunately, we, we forced them to have the counters and they had the counters. I'm not gonna show them. I'm not gonna show them that I have Blast Zone or that I have uh, Elspeth Conqueror's Death yet. I'm gonna play uh, Helm of the Host. See if they wanna be stupid and encounter this. They really shouldn't. They should just uh, Castle Ventress here. I need to get a nose hair uh, trimmer, like a dedicated one. Because you, you see me do this, it's all just itching my nose, dude. Because my hairs are just like... If you show remorse, <laughs> Notice me, senpai. Alright, so, well... Do we get countered? Yup. Alright. Yeah, so I think, I think sideboard-wise, we need to... Modify it to be more anti control. I wonder if, like, I just bring these creatures in just to have more early creatures. I feel like that's not worth it at all, but. Mm -mm. Possibly could have Thalia's. I mean, this is a good hand. We have an annoying turn two card that's just there to be stupid. You can't get counters placed on yourself. Ha ha! It does not matter. Alright. So, what we could... What, what I think I'm gonna do... Ah, Dovin's Widow can't be countered, dude! Why? <laughs> you fucking... Alright, we're gonna play... We're gonna play Gideon Blackblade first. Because I need this to resolve more. 
Yeah. And I can't counter Dobin's Veto, but I can counter this. Or, I can counter other counter spells. Oh, I got another. Ah, oh, fudge. Alright, I'm doing this again. What a coward I was. We can banish evil from this plane. I should just play the Gideon Trials. You my strength. I will lend you my strength. Uh, Vigilance for the same reason. Indestructible Master of War! Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. I have regrets. Because getting trial, getting getting trials down means my pack mitigation is live four mana. I don't so this is so. this is almost certainly. Oh, well, first things first. Boop. And we'll do vigilant. Share in my I'm gonna life. cast this. And I can theoretically. And theoretically, pack communication. Luckily, we've been we've been drawing Gideon heavy, which is very important, because we need to keep these threats constant against a against a deck like this. Come on, you can't fight George. What are you thinking? What are you gonna do, Punk? Feeling lucky, Punk? Well, do we? Uh, feel lucky. Cast out now. Oh. And we need to make sure that uh, we cannot Virtue lose the game. Save yourself and give up now. All right, so if my opponent is able to get rid of both of my Gideons, bravo. <laughs> that would be very unfortunate. Uh, so once again, like I want them to target my Gideon of the Trials. One, because I have an additional one, and two, because Gideon Blackblade can actually remove things, whereas Gideon the Charles can't. Leave my Gideon Blackblade alone, please. I'm not oh! You know what? Not what I expected. Not at all what I expected, to be honest. Hm. Okay, two mana. There with me. There with me. <laughs> Um, so, I could theoretically exile this to fairy. I don't think that's the right thing to do. So instead, I'm going to turn this into a dude. I'm Not going to plus this one. Give you vigilance. Two mana. I believe in you, friend. <laughs> what have I seen from them? They can abrade. Doesn't matter. Magma jet doesn't matter. So we haven't seen anything else that they could do to us. The thing is, right, I I want to make sure Teferi is dead. But I worry. I worry that this is dumb for some reason. All right, it worked out. So, I, the thing is, right, I could have put my opponent I down to two. To I, I don't know if that's, like, the correct thing to do. Magma Jet my face. Yeah, I mean, during my turn, it makes sense to Magma Jet me. These things can't take damage. Both on bottom is a great sign for me. Uh, we have a Gideon Blackblade that can um, that can use its minus six. We have two replacement Gideon the Trials. We have an active Castle Ardenvale that we're going to activate. So, you know, we're, we're in a decent spot. I would love, I would absolutely love to top deck another pack mitigation here. <laughs> That's fine. I must revisit my training. That is fine with me. Let's make a dude. Not on my watch. Not on my watch. Let us... Hmm. 
I'm worried about like a cell of the wreckage now. I am worried about another cast out. Dovin's veto. That's fine. So I will just plus this. I will give this vigilance. I don't know if it matters. Your light will cleave the darkness. Okay. They only have two cards. I have a Gideon that can do some good stuff. That Shark Typhoon's not great, because it's not getting them a shark. Teferi. I know what uh, Teferi. I mean, if Teferi Tuck here does nothing. Yeah, they have, they have to draw a card here. We beat a real control deck. With Gideon Tribal. Heck yeah, but... What? I don't like... I don't like when the dang... Videos are single matches. But I don't really have time to devote another 30 minutes. Okay, so what we're gonna do... Is we're, we're gonna play a... We're gonna play a best of one with the same deck. Alright. I, I try not to do that for videos. But I think, like, to be reasonable... It has to be done. You know, I, I want there to be a little bit more content, but not uh, not so much that I get destroyed. Not in the game, like me, literally. The dude named Justin. The guy behind the creepy, creepy <laughs> porcelain guy. Uh, I mean, yeah, Shadows, eh, yeah, it's, it's fine. We don't we don't love it. Um, I also think that the Karns Bastion, like, I, I think a lot of the special lands that we have are unnecessary. Um... Yeah, there, there are definitely changes that I would make to this, which we will talk about after this game. Um, if our opponent, you know, would like to uh, participate, thank you. Um, yeah, I think the Karns Bastion as a special lands aren't necessary. It's unlikely we're going to get to that point very frequently. So I can Gideon Blackblade. Uh-oh. Gabos, not good. Um... Um, you know what? I'm not gonna say anything to you. Uh, having another Gideon here is not great. Plus, let me lead the charge into darkness. Prepare yes, let battle. me lead the charge. Goblin Matron. Mixus. Cool. So I would very much like to see. Oh, maybe, maybe we should be playing some number of Cell the Wreckage. Be between main and side. I'm not, I'm not sure. Going straight to face. Yeah, they're, they're just trying to kill me. That's enough. Um, Heart of Kieran? I do think Heart of Kieran is the correct call. One, two, three, four. Play land, they're on five. Remove one for Sackboy. So they're back to four. They can sack Matron and Goblin to be up to six. Ay, ay, ay. I, I mean, we, we attack. Like, not really much we can do besides that. And I think I think we just play Heart of Karen Because it can potentially save me. Or potentially save Gideon, but... Yep, land. Let's do Sackboy. There's Sackboy. Alright, do we lose to Muxus? Do we lose because Muxus is a card that should not exist in the metagame? We see one sack. Ah, ah, ah. Two sacks. Ah, ah, ah. Do we die to RNG? Uh... No, we don't die. We don't, we don't die. They do a haste, which is very annoying. It's the point of authority of the consoles. Alright, let's see. So I can, I can blow the board up on my turn, which is helpful. Now, I assume they're going to attack some number at Gideon. They attack Mux... They, they use Gideon... Or they, they swing at Gideon for Muxus. 
That's all they did, really. That, that seems like an error. What is Muxus naturally? A 4-4. Four, four. Darn. So they will, they will draw a card regardless. I mean, they would have drawn extra because that. Um, yeah, I think I just let Heart of Kiran die here. Gideon will go down to two. Take a hit or two. But I get to just block the Muxus. They all draw a card. I will also draw a card. Once I cast my Shadow of the Sky. But they will have Bring no board, on. and I will have a Gideon. Although they will still have four cards in hand. I've got I draw all of my Gideon Black Blades. Uh, it doesn't matter. Like, I can't do, use that for anything else. Um, they can theoretically do some stuff with mana this turn, but Gideon can't take any damage. So we're going to Shadow of the Sky. Let's see if we get, get a land. I wouldn't mind getting a land. Being able to Helm of the Host up on my Gideons would be quite nice. All right, yeah. All right, and we get to see that they're going to draw essentially nothing. Getting that land there is quite nice. Um, if we want to, we can just start Karn's Bastioning. Bastioning. These are obviously not great to have in our hand. Goblin Matron for another Muxus, I assume. Because Muxus is a fair and balanced magic card. It doesn't just win off of the spot. Off the spot? On the spot? Whatever. I don't think so. I mean the Wrath of God is nice, but. Yeah, at this point, I'm probably just going to die. Maybe it was correct. Maybe it was correct to let Gideon die, I'm not sure. I believe in you, friend. So once again, um, it is up to RNG whether or not I die here. Hopefully they just attack my Gideon, but... It, it is very possible. They don't have haste. Bruh. That's enough. That... Them not getting haste was... Very, very important. Share in my light. Now they will have haste on this... They will potentially have eight mana. They're gonna go for another. I would very much like to get one of my get an authority of the consoles. <laughs> this is this game. This goblins is a good deck by itself. There's no reason for this card to exist, right? <laughs> like I'm not crazy. It's just like flip a coin. Do you win? Goblin recruiter. Okay. A lot of Turk Prospectors up there. I assume we're going to hit Gideon. That has haste. That's very no, strange to me. I don't think so. Uh... Unfortunately, the way that this works is that I won't have I won't have the ability. Six. I'm, I'm almost certainly. Wait. Damn! No. The... Cause. Like they have to block one of them here. I can I can also with Conqueror's Death to get rid of one of them. They still have a blocker. I I think like I don't I don't think it matters. I think it's it's just RNG again. And and unfortunately the way that this works is I don't get this until like I can't activate this right now. So. But they they do have to block with both. So it does the same thing as this does. 
Uh, it's it's very unfortunate. Like the fact that I did I got all three of these Gideons and none of the other Gideons is is horrible, right? Um, being able to have that emblem would be very helpful. Let's give it life link. <laughs> all right, do I die? Do I die from essentially twenty? This is their this is their third uh, their third rip with Muxus. Do I die? They have, at this point, gone through half of their deck. They're at one. Uh, which I, I think is correct, right? Like, they have to kill me here. Well, they don't have to kill me here. But this helps them kill me. Wow. That's... That's... That's not a great get there. And see, this is, this is another reason why I think Muxus is not a great card to have... Um, not it, it, this is another reason why I think Muxus is not a great card to have in Arena because even the people who are playing Muxus decks, right, they're not playing a Goblin deck, they're playing a Muxus deck, right? This is this essentially is a combo deck that can kill you uh, in an aggro way, and I think that if you remove Muxus, the Goblin's deck, like the the pilots of that deck, are going to be less frustrated because of the fact that sometimes they don't just lose the game to their coin flip, and because Muxus is in the game and it's so it's so strong if you're playing Goblins anyway, uh, it means that. Like, you essentially have no reason not to just play Muxus, right? Like, if you're playing Goblins, play Muxus. It's, it's a better version. Um, although, frankly, I don't think it's that much better. Um, but, what was, it? what was I saying? Uh, right, but, like, my opponent whiffed really hard twice there. If their deck wasn't built around Muxus, though, they would just be playing a good, aggressive Goblins deck. So, I don't know. I, I don't like Muxus, even though I won that. I don't like Muxus. I, I, st I still don't think it's a very healthy um, card for, for Arena. Now, for the deck, what did I like? What did I not like? Uh, so, as I said, I think that my main deck is a little bit too focused um, on aggro. So that I, I don't think I need the the aggro hate in the sideboard as much. Uh, I like the one of Helm of Host. It's actually hilarious. Uh, the deck needs more card draw, baby. Um, the, the issue is that white doesn't have access to card draw. Um, obviously you have like random cantrip garbage, um, but you really need something a little bit more sustainable. Uh, theoretically you have Mangara, but uh, that's, that's not exactly what, what you want to see. There's no, there's no blue in this. What are you doing? Um, what, did you not hear what I said? There's no blue. Uh, yeah. And then like, uh, Maze My Tome, maybe? So Maze My Tome is, is potential. Um, it also gains life, you know, so there is that. So, you know, Maze Mind Tome, I could definitely see um, replacing maybe a couple of Birth of Miletus, getting a couple of Gideon's Trials uh, even. Um, you probably do want some number of Settle the Wreckage uh, just because there are there are ways where you can just lose. I, I wouldn't say much, you know, maybe it's um, two Shadow of the Sky, one Settle, uh, three Wrath of God. I think that's probably a reasonable, uh, a reasonable balance to have. Um more control hate for the sideboard like that's that's hard right um i really like heart of kieran in that in that region because it is something that isn't always a creature and is relatively like an just annoying to deal with especially since it works so well with our gideons but um i think i think honestly like a couple of danto vanguards yeah i think just a couple of danto vanguards in the sideboard might be better hushbringer like it has a place did i Oh, right. That was best of one. I was like, did I not bring that in against goblins? Um, Hushbringer has a place. Sun Cleanser also has a place. So you probably, like, you cut a Sun Cleanser for sure. Um, and then I think you cut a Timely Reinforcements. Yeah, go down to one Hushbringer. I, I, I still think you want, like, a Hushbringer. Like, you cut you cut down on uh, one of those each to put in three and not the Vanguards, and that's probably going to get you there a lot of the time. Yeah, I think I think that's going to get you there a lot of the time, um, because it's just an annoying creature for your control opponent to deal with, and you can get it down under some uh, control magic, under under some counter spells, uh, and just be very annoying. Um, the reason I'm not saying something along the lines of Thalia is because um, fun fact, Thalia not a fan of our deck, <laughs> so, um, and there aren't many other, no, there aren't really other creatures, and you really wanted to keep it around, around the two. Um, Plane your opponent's control. Maybe you have an argument for Eidolon, but once again, Adanto Vanguard has more resiliency. Uh, yeah, you really need to keep it around 
around the two drop. Three drop is like the maximum, but since we have Gideons, we, we don't really want that. Now, the thing is, right, we have, we have eight total Gideons, and they are legendary permanents. But even, even the fact that we had a couple games where we were drawing too much of a single Gideon, I still think it's fine because Gideon is going to die a decent amount. Too soon? Anyway, I, I really like this deck. Uh, I, I hope that you all found it interesting as well. <laughs> anyway, I'd like to thank my lovely patrons for the continued support. If you'd like to join them and support the show, you find links in the description down below. Oh my gosh, I didn't call out Fogwin, Malik, and Balotair. It's because I'm garbage. Anyway, hope you've enjoyed this video. If you did, like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And of course, until next time, all will be one.